To log into the administrative suite of Curriculum Builder, go to curriculumbuilder.ebscohost.com slash admin.php. The credentials you'll need to log in are provided in the welcome letter. In the administrative suite, you can delete lists permanently from your system. So for example, if I wanted to delete these lists that have not been accessed since June 29th, I can select them, click on Delete Lists, it'll confirm that this is what I'd like to do, and then I can delete these lists permanently. I can also see statistics for Curriculum Builder. Here I can see that there are 30 total lists with 117 readings on those lists. There are five people using Curriculum Builder, as well as their email addresses listed here. I can also see which courses are making use of Curriculum Builder. In addition to these statistics, EBSCO Admin provides the usual reporting statistics for the tool. Here if I click on Reports and Statistics, and then select Standard Reports, under the Usage Reports tab, I can select Session and then Profile, select the date range for which I'd like to have statistics, and then click on Show Report. Under Profile ID, locate the profile ID of your Curriculum Builder profile. This is the row that will indicate usage statistics for your instance of Curriculum Builder.